Pase. Oh, come on, come on. Ya come on, ya come on. Touch him. Touch him, I'm catching me. It's something. Touch him, I'm catching me. Someone, I think, in my past, unfortunately, forget. Even though, I'm sure many of you do, you were some church. You were some church. practice that almost everybody does but in, we don't know where it comes from. Some people in uh, Europe and also in Bhutan, they think Yoga Sanju is composed by Bhijama Rinpoche. Such kind of uh, understanding is a disgrace to the Nyingapal lineage. You know, it's like monkeys, they don't know their, who their father is or mother is because they all, all get mixed up after a while. You know, they sleep around. <laughs> so they, they don't know where teachings come from, so on and so forth. Anyway, in case you are wondering, Rigdzin Sobruk is a treasure teaching of Hatsun Namka Jingme. And Hatsun Namka Jingme is a <coughs> reincarnation of such a famous self, who is actually the daughter of Chisong Diyutsen. Um, because Jayan Chinsa Bongo is also considered the reincarnation of Sachin Pemasal and Sachin Namka Jingme, Jayan Chinsa, both Jayan Chinsa Bongo and especially Jayan Chinsa Shuju Lodra has a very special connection to this treasure teaching. So much so that he sent the present Chajar Rinpoche to collect the treasure teachings from all sorts of sources because the, te the teaching was waning. So finally, Chajar Rinpoche, the present Chajar Rinpoche, was still alive. He managed to gather the teaching of Hachun, this Rizin uh, Sotuk, we call it. Um, Jayachin Sotuk actually received from Chajar Rinpoche, present Chajar Rinpoche. You can say that on this earth at the moment, there's still somebody who has actually given teaching to Chen Chokulodra, still alive. And that's present Chajarim. I have received this treasure teaching, the complete cycle, from Chajarim in Bema Yangtze, where these monks, or Yabalas, we call them, where they come from. And, um, This trashy thing, if we have a time, we can discuss this in the future. But today I have a little bit of a flu and cold and blocked nose, so I can't think straight. But it's considered a um, replica of Copper Colored Mountain. Believe it or not, this mountain, this single mountain that is sort of isolated from the other mountain, is city of one billion. Uh, there's a one billion cities of Jakinas, and there's so many accounts. Even when I was young, that like when I was around eight, I was here receiving complete Gongdu, the Northern Treasure teachings from Jakinas in that temple. I think I stayed somewhere here. I don't remember. <coughs> Even around that time, it's very often we hear people, especially yogis and nuns and practitioners, they would go behind a tree or a rock and they never return because there are supposedly lots of secret doors to this city, which, which could be the spot that where you are sitting or standing or kissing or I don't know, <laughs> whatever you are doing. <laughs> um, this is, yes, as I was saying, also, as I'm sure you all know, this is also Giant Chukulodra. When he was there in that mountain, Ravangla is called. Ravangla, when? Ah. He said, 
when I see this, that mountain, looking at here, I can see that my body will be cremated there. That's what he predicted. So, of course, as he predicted, um, Chen Chokulot's body was cremated here. Present Sake Trizen, who was barely 14 years, maybe 15 years old, he was invited here to actually put the um, central chakra of this particular stupa. Many great lamas have visited. Anyway, as I said, I can't think properly today. So that's it. The Rizin Sogu main deity is Guru Rinpoche in the form of 80 years old, but embracing 80 years old Mandara of a consort. So those of you who comes from a puritanical land of the West, please don't think fishy things. <laughs> In Tantra, it's totally all right. <laughs> it's nothing sacrilegious or it's nothing, you know. And the reason why of all the Guru Rinpoche's form, the eight-year-old Guru Rinpoche is considered very special is usually the eight-year-old children are always inspired and always, well, we ordinary beings call it naive, but these guys call it uncontrived. So the energy of uncontrived, and therefore, because when you are not contrived, it's almost impossible to lose your inspiration. So after the Asuras Dukchen of dispelling the obstacles, here we are to receive all kinds of blessings, but especially the blessing of not losing the inspiration, which we usually do. I think I will have to go now. Yes. Okay, and then I'll speak to you again.